Good day, learners! I am Teacher Christoph, your science teacher for today. Today, you are going to learn about measuring motion in terms of distance and time. In this lesson, you need to elucidate the meaning of motion of an object by tracing and measuring its change in position over a period of time, measure the movement of an object in terms of distance and time, and carry out the value of having a reference point when understanding motion. Body movements in any games are necessary to play the game properly and of course to win. Motion and energy are relatively important in our daily life. Motion and energy work together to make things easier for us. Through the help of force, motion can be achieved. Without motion, we cannot do work and enjoy life. Life is so boring without any movement or any motion in it. But what is motion? By definition, motion is a change of position with respect to its reference point. From the time we wake up until we go to sleep, all our activities involve movements. We need to move in order for us to complete our tasks. Motion will always be part in our daily lives. There are four types of motion. The first picture is a moving train on its track which is an example of a rectilinear motion. In rectilinear motion, movement of an object is along a straight line. The next picture is a ferris wheel wherein the motion of an object is in a circular path called circular motion. In circular motion, object moves around a fixed point such that its distance from the center remains the same. The third picture shows the earth revolving around the sun, which is an example of a periodic motion. The motion repeats itself after definite time interval. While the last picture shows a ball rolling on a straight path. This is an example of a rolling motion, a combination of rectilinear motion and a circular motion. Let's observe figure 1 and figure 2. Infer in which figure the car has moved. Is there a change in position of the car in figure 2? Yes, there is a change in position of the car in figure 2. The change in position of the car means that the car has moved. Thus, there is motion. We know the car has moved because it changes position. The basis in describing the car's position is a reference point or the frame of reference. We know that something has moved because it has changed position. Position is the location of an object. It is an object's distance in direction from a reference point. Reference point is a fixed place or an object used to determine the position of the object. The car in the first activity has changed position when it was a meter away from the trees. This process of changing of an object's position is called motion. Always remember that pull or push as part of exerting force may also relative on the distance of an object when it is moved from one point to another. However, Distance is the measure of how far or near two points are from another. It can be measured using different ways such as time, landmark, or body parts. For example, when you are going to school, 
The distance of the school from your house is 2 kilometers away and you spend 1 hour of walking just to get there in your school. This may not validate that you spent less time going to school than that of going to church which is far apart from your school. There are factors to be considered like traffic or winding road that can affect your travel time. Therefore, there are appropriate tools and ways to measure distance so that you can tell whether the object is near or far. Distance is measured by using tools such as metal stick, tape measure, measuring wheel, and ultrasonic distance measure. On the other hand, the distance covered by a moving object is affected by speed or the measure of how fast it moves. Speed of an object can be calculated by dividing the distance covered by an object in motion by the time spent to cover the distance. Here is the formula to get the speed. Speed is equal to distance covered over time or S is equal to D over T. For example, Jeros traveled 5 meters away with her bike from her house going to plaza in 120 seconds. In getting the speed of Jeros bike, following the formula stated above, speed equals to D over T. So speed is equal to 5 meters, the distance covered, over 120 seconds, the time spent. If we divide 5 with 120, the quotient will be 0.42 meters per second. The speed of Jerry's bike is 0.42 meter per second from her house to the plaza. Also remember that in describing the motion of an object by tracing and measuring its change in position over a period of time, you need to take value on the importance of having standard unit of measurement in determining the distance between two points. Knowledge and conversion is also necessary to get the speed of a moving object. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you.